So this is kind of part two of the uh, HT60 swap on my Bicam 4 Cummins. <clears throat> we got the hot or the cold side outlet made up that goes over to the intercooler slash intake manifold on the other side of the engine. <clears throat> Everything's tacked in, ready to get welded up. I just kind of wanted to run you guys through my uh, my back purge setup here. So uh, basically, what I did is instead of buying a really expensive back purge setup, I went and bought some. Uh, I think these are actually called um, they're for powder coating, like uh, in silicone end caps for powder coating um, tubes or whatever. So I bought a kit of these, and they came in different sizes. There's a couple of them over here, and basically just took a, uh, a unibit at them, <clears throat> popped some holes in them, and uh, they fit in here pretty snug. They are not completely heat resistant, but they are pretty heat resistant, because <clears throat> they're made to actually be baked, if I remember correctly. Um, and on the other end, I've got, uh, it's going to be kind of tricky, let's flip this over. The other end, I've got a gas lens stuck in here to kind of distribute the air or the, the argon a little bit better. I got the center of it capped off so it goes through the screen, but uh, that's what the inside of it looks like. And that's, that's kind of how I uh, put gas in the back side of something, but um, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a world of difference in how the inside of the tube comes out versus um, not back purging it. And, uh, I'm, I'm pretty much a firm believer in it, but it makes the price of anything go through the roof, so I pretty much only do stuff like this for myself. Um, but, you know, when you when you go pricing stuff out like this, um, it'd be a good idea when you talk to whoever's making your, your piping for your custom turbo setup or whatever, uh, ask them if they back purge their stainless. Uh, that's a pretty good indicator of um, uh, the price difference between that and non-back purge. Like, um, you know, I, I would I would ballpark like if I was welding, you know, non-back purge, it'd be like 120 an hour. But if I was back purging, it'd be closer to 140 or 160 an hour because uh, I got this tank over here going with argon, and I got that tank over there going with argon too on the back of the welder. So um, it, it it doubles up on the argon usage, even though I'm only running about five uh, cubic feet an hour out of this one. <clears throat> it still uses like a lot more argon. But the weld quality is like much, much better. Anyway, that's my two cents on that. Uh, we'll get back into this.